Hi, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR PharmaGeo. In the previous videos, we discussed an introduction to aromatic amines, the basicity of amines and the effect of substituents on basicity of aromatic amines. In this lesson, we shall try to learn the synthetic uses of aryl diazonium salts. By the end of this lesson, you will understand the synthetic uses of aryl diazonium salts. Introduction to aryl diazonium salts. The name in which di refers to 2, azo is an indicative of nitrogen and em the suffix implies that the compound is cationic in nature. Diazonium compounds or diazonium salts are a group of organic compounds sharing a common functional group that is R N2 plus X minus where R can be any organic group such as an alkyl or an aryl and X is an inorganic or organic anion such as a halogen. A molecule of the structure R N2 plus is called a diazonium ion. The name of the diazonium salt is obtained by adding diazonium chloride or diazonium sulfate and so on to the name of the parent hydrocarbon. Preparation of diazonium salts. Diazonium salts can be prepared either from primary aliphatic amines or primary aryl amines. Primary aliphatic amines react with nitrous acid that is HNO2 to yield highly unstable aliphatic diazonium salts. This process is called a diazotization reaction. Even at low temperatures, aliphatic diazonium salts decompose spontaneously by losing nitrogen to form carbocations. The carbocations go on to produce mixtures of alkenes, alcohols and alkyl halides, removal of a proton, reaction with water and a reaction with halide. Diazotization of primary aliphatic amines are of little synthetic importance because they yield a complex mixture of products. As the evolution of nitrogen is quantitative in these reactions, this reaction is used in some analytical procedures. They can also be used to generate and thus study the behavior of carbocations in water, acetic acid and other solvents. Preparation of aryl diazonium salts or reaction with primary aryl amine with nitrous acid. The most important reaction of amines with nitrous acid is the reaction of primary aryl amines. Primary aryl amines, for example, aminobenzene, generally known as aniline, react with nitrous acid to yield stable aryl diazonium salts. Even though aryl diazonium salts are unstable, they are still far more stable than aliphatic diazonium salts. They do not decompose at an appreciable rate in solution when the temperature of the reaction mixture is kept below 5 degrees. Diazotization of a primary amine takes place through a series of steps. In the presence of a strong acid, nitrous acid dissociates to produce nitroso ions. These ions then react with the nitrogen of the amine to form an unstable N nitroso aminium ion as an intermediate. This intermediate then loses a proton to form an N nitroso amine, which in turn tautomerizes to a diazohydroxide in a reaction that is similar to keto enol tautomerization. Then, in the presence of acid, the diazohydroxide loses water to form the diazonium ion. Note that the secondary and tertiary amines do not form aryl diazonium salts. Diazonium salts are almost always prepared by diazotizing primary aromatic amines. Diazotization reactions of primary aryl amines are of considerable synthetic importance because the diazonium group can be replaced by a variety of other functional groups, which means diazonium salts provide easy access to prepare many different benzene derivatives. Keep in mind the four step sequence illustrated here because it will be used to synthesize many substituted benzenes. In the first step, benzene is reacted with nitric acid in the presence of sulfuric acid which is a simple nitration reaction to produce nitrobenzene. In the second step, which is a reduction reaction in which the nitrobenzene is reduced with hydrogen in palladium and carbon as catalyst to yield an aminobenzene that is aniline. In the third step, the aniline is reacted with sodium nitrite in an acid that is hydrochloric acid to form a benzene diazonium chloride. And in the final step that is in the fourth step, the benzene diazonium salt is substituted with any atom or group to produce a benzene derivative. 
the diazonium group of aryl diazonium salt can be replaced by any one of the number of other atoms or groups including fluorine chlorine bromine iodine nitrile hydroxide and hydrogen atom thus aryl diazonium salts are useful intermediates in the synthesis of aromatic compounds as discussed in the previous slide aryl diazonium ions or salts undergo a variety of reactions that make them versatile intermediates for preparing a host of ring substituted aromatic compounds in these reactions summarized here are discussed individually in the following sections molecular nitrogen acts as a leaving group and is replaced by another atom or group all these reactions are regio specific the entering group becomes bonded to the same carbon from which nitrogen departs the diazonium salts are very important synthetic reagents being a starting point in the preparation of various aromatic compounds dyes and drugs aryl diazonium salts undergo a large number of reactions which are divided into two general reactions number 1 replacement or substitution reactions in which nitrogen is lost as a nitrogen gas and some other atom or group becomes attached to the ring in its place replacement of this new atom or group forms a variety of substituted benzenes and number 2 diazo coupling reactions in which the nitrogen is retained in the product coupling of a diazonium salt with another benzene derivative forms an azo compound a compound containing a nitrogen nitrogen double bond see the reactions replacement or substitution reactions of aryl diazonium salts there are several replacement or substitution reactions of aryl diazonium salts which include sand meyer reaction replacement by iodine fluorine hydroxide and hydrogen most aryl diazonium salts are unstable at temperatures above 5 to 10 degrees and many explode when dry fortunately most of the replacement reactions of diazonium salts do not require their isolation we simply add another reagent that is cuprous chloride cuprous bromide potassium iodide etc to the mixture gently warm the solution and the replacement accompanied by the evolution of nitrogen takes place only in the replacement of the diazonium group by fluorine we need to isolate a diazonium salt we do this by adding fluoroboric acid to the mixture causing the sparingly soluble and reasonably stable aryl diazonium fluoroborate to precipitate the sand meyer reaction replacement of the diazonium group by chlorine bromine or nitrile copper salts or cuprous salts have a specific affinity for diazonium salts cuprous chloride cuprous bromide and cuprous cyanide react with aryl diazonium salts to give aryl chlorides aryl bromides and aryl cyanides the use of cuprous salts replaces the diazonium group by chloride bromide and cyanide respectively these reactions are known as sand meyer reactions the mechanism of these replacement reactions are not fully understood the reactions appear to be radical in nature not ionic the sand meyer reaction is an alternative to direct chlorination bromination of an aromatic ring using chlorine or bromine and a lewis acid also using cuprous cyanide it is an excellent method for attaching another carbon substituent to an aromatic ring replacement by iodine aryl diazonium salts react with either sodium iodide or potassium iodide to form products in which the diazonium group has been replaced by iodine for example in the synthesis of para iodo nitro benzene the amino group of the para nitro aniline is replaced by an iodine atom para to the nitro group this is a useful reaction because aryl iodides cannot be produced by direct iodination with iodine and a lewis acid catalyst because iodine reacts too slowly thus this reaction is one of the best methods for making iodo benzene derivatives replacement by fluorine The diazonium group can be replaced by fluorine by treating the diazonium salt with fluoroboric acid to form aryl fluoride. This reaction is also known as the Schiemann reaction. 
the diazonium fluoroborate that precipitates out of the solution is isolated dried and heated until decomposition occurs to give aryl fluoride although this reaction requires the isolation and heating of a potentially explosive diazonium salt it may be carried out safely if it is done carefully with the proper equipment this is a useful reaction because aryl fluorides cannot be produced by direct fluorination with fluorine and a lewis acid catalyst because fluorine reacts too violently replacement by hydroxide an important reaction of aryl diazonium salts is their conversion to phenols by hydrolysis a diazonium salt reacts with water to form a phenol in this reaction the diazonium group can be replaced by a hydroxyl group to form a phenol a better yield of phenol is obtained if aqueous copper oxide and copper nitrate are added to the cold solution this is the most general method for preparing phenols the hydroxyl group of water replaces nitrogen forming a phenol an overall synthesis of a phenol from the corresponding aryl amine is shown in the reaction this is a useful laboratory synthesis of phenols because unlike nucleophilic aromatic substitution it does not require strong electron withdrawing substituents or powerful bases and nucleophiles replacement by hydrogen Aryl diazonium salts react with hypophosphorus acid to yield products in which the diazonium group has been replaced by hydrogen. In effect, this is a reduction of the aryl diazonium ion. Notice that this reaction provides a method of removal of an amino group from an aromatic ring. The second general reaction of diazonium salts is coupling. Coupling reactions of aryl diazonium salts. Aryl diazonium ions act as weak electrophiles in electrophilic aromatic substitutions. Resonance structures for the diazonium ion show that both nitrogens carry a partial positive charge. The terminal nitrogen attacks the para position of an activated benzene ring one substituted with an electron releasing group like amino and hydroxyl groups. The products have the structure containing the azo linkage. For this reason, the products are called azo compounds and the reaction is called diazo coupling. In the reaction, aryl diazonium chloride reacts with an activated benzene ring possessing a strong electron donor group such as amine, hydroxyl, tertiary amines, etc. to yield bright colored azo compounds. See the reactions. Diazo coupling reactions are typical electrophilic aromatic substitutions in which the positively charged diazonium ion is the electrophile that reacts with the electron rich ring of a phenol or aryl amine. Reaction usually occurs at the para position. Azo compounds bring two substituted aromatic rings into conjugation with an azo group which is a strong chromophore. Therefore, most azo compounds are strongly colored and they make excellent dyes known as azo dyes. Many of these compounds such as the azo compound butter yellow are synthetic dyes. Butter yellow was once used to color margarine. Most many azo dyes are made by diazo coupling. This is the list of references followed for the lecture. That's all in this lesson, synthetic uses of aryl diazonium salts. With this, we end the topic of aromatic amines. In the next video, I will come up with a new topic. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.